Hello there, welcome to Wheezy B. Today is a glorious autumn day here and what I'm going to discuss with you today is overwintering your chilli plants and you might wonder why you want to do that. With well, some radical pruning it can be achieved as long as you've got somewhere that's warm and frost free and when you're selecting your plant, make sure it's got no pests and diseases, especially the soil little gnat, it's a little black fly. If you've got anything like that, make sure it is eradicated before you even think of bringing any plants into your home, because they will continue to multiply and become quite a problem. At this time now, you should be in a position where you have removed all your fruit and processed it the way you, you desire. Um, I'll show you this, it's a, um, an A4 tiered rack and um, I find it very useful for drying the chilies. It's good, very good air circulation and it's available from a very large furniture shop beginning with I. I don't need to say any more, but it is brilliant for drying your chilies on. So what are we going to do with this plant now? We're going to do some radical pruning and it really is radical because we want to be left with a size we can deal with at home because once the light levels start improving again it will start really pushing out a lot of growth. And what we're going to do is reduce some of this top growth so we can see where we're going to cut. Now you always cut to a leaf node and what that is simply is where the leaves are coming out of the stem. Cut to that, not directly on it, to it. So by doing that we've now exposed the main stem of this particular plant. And what I'm going to do is cut it at a slight angle but quite a way down if you can see that's the pot yeah. So we're going to cut it. And you think, wow. <laughs> okay, so but what we have now is a size of a plant that we can now take into the home or into a heated greenhouse and just keep it ticking over and it will be happy. And then in the spring it will shoot up and be productive about a month quicker than any chilli plants you've grown from seed. You do need to keep an eye on it and make sure there's no pests and diseases. Um, you can replace the soil but really we want it to slow down so we will just keep it moist. We're not going to drown it in water or anything like that. We'll just keep it ticking over the next four months till spring comes. But by doing that now this will heal up and seal up and it will be fine. I had a question about growing chilies on the windowsill and really you don't want to be putting your chilies in anything bigger than a pot like this which is about a 23 centimetre pot because it's not necessary because when you're watering this is when you're going to be adding your food when it is at its most productive stage. So by taking out the growing tips as we've discussed before that also will help reduce the size of your chilli. So I hope I've uh, helped with your question there. So this is our, our um, elephant's trunk and this is a beautiful plant so I'm going to overwinter this one as well. So as we did before, I'm going to cut it about a couple of inches from the soil at a leaf node, okay? So in we go. And we're left with a plant now that has got some new shoots coming and we've got in enough days now for that to put on a little bit of growth just enough for it to cope with over the next few months. By doing this to your favourite plants you don't have to do it to many 
unless you've got a really big greenhouse of course but by doing it to a couple of plants you can be ahead of the game for next year. Thank you for watching Wizzy Bee. Bye bye.